Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. This is gonna be a video on this baby. I'm gonna show you up close. This is the, I'm gonna read it right here. FNS 9C. FNS 9C. It's a nine millimeter from FN which is a company that I don't normally fool too much with, uh, pretty much because, hey, um, it's not exactly the cheapest stuff out there, but big thanks to my buddy, Paul, Heavy Metal Paul. Y'all that watch the show know him. Definitely go subscribe to his channel, Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. But quick video on this nine millimeter, the magazine that's in it, if this will wanna focus, is 12. So metal mag, 12 plus one, Paul said I needed to check this thing out. So that's what we're doing here for this video. Now, at this range here behind me, we've got steel here at 10 yards. Then we've got that row is 20 yards. And then up beyond it, we have steel all the way up to 55 yards. So we're gonna take this FNS9C. Is that what I said it is? It's not mine, so I don't even know. FNS9C, Link some boo lights through it see what we think about it all of the ammo that we're slinging in this video is the remington bucket of boo lots 115 grain so should be pretty good but that's it let's start at 10 yards i'm gonna paint the targets up we're just gonna work our way to the back and see what we think about it the one thing that i will tell you that i love about this just kind of uh messing with it is the trigger break so there is a very, very obvious wall right there. And then there's the trigger. So I've never seen a wall so pronounced and so obvious. Like there's the obvious wall. You know where some pistolas you'll have to, uh, you don't know where it is and then it surprises you. This one, I think we'll be able to do some pretty precise hits even at distance because of that very obvious wall i mean i'm not breaking it right there you see all that pressure i can do to find that obvious wall and then you hit it and then it'll break so check it out i'm gonna go paint these targets we'll start off at 10 yards and just go back see what we think about it always enjoy the opportunity to try something new and bring you guys a video on it so let's check it out fn nine millimeter all right so here we go just like we typically do when they get, we get when we, I'm tongue tied today, when we get the pistolas out. Go start at 10 yards and we're just gonna work our way back, go through a mag or two, see what we think about it. So, 10 yards, we got a yellow dude. Let's see where the sights are on this baby. We'll grip it just like I normally do any other nine millimeter. 10 yard dude, yellow man. Well, we got him. Well, four in a row, right where we want it. Let's go up to 20. We move this other camera. We'll start on that bigger silhouette and then we'll work our way to some smaller ones here. It... Yeah, sights are pretty much right there where, where I want them. Go a little bit smaller one. And another smaller one. And the tiniest one there. Miss that. Oh, I'm trying to go too fast. Ah. So that small one is not making me happy. My glasses are fogging up. We'll blame it on the glasses. Let me load up a few more. And we've got to hit that small gong. That's a... I don't know, three or four inch gong at 20 yards. Shouldn't be that hard. Come on, man. Looks like from all the other ones, I'm hitting a tad bit left. So I'm gonna hold the right of that and just do the same thing that I was. Let's zoom in this camera on this small, tiny gong here. That way y'all can see really where I'm missing here. So I'm gonna hold the right edge of that thing. 
That's probably a four inch plate. Yep. So I held the right edge of that thing and I hit it smack dab in the middle. So either my eyeballs are off or the sights are just a smidge off. That being said, uh, let's go on ahead and hit the uh, steel up at 50 yards. Where are we at here? 50 yards. There we go. I just gave this orange target a, a quick skim of paint here. Let's go ahead and top off this mag with a few more. So this one's at 50 yards. If I can hit that four inch one at 20, I should be able to hit that bigger piece of steel. Let me get y'all where you see me a little better. Now we got that bright light behind me, don't I? See how this works out. 50 yards, I'm still gonna hold the right edge of that. 50 yards here. Got it. Looks like I hit the left edge if my eyeballs are seeing right. Well, that time I held like three inches off the right edge and it looks like I hit it pretty near dead center. So let me keep trying that. Yeah. So those last two, my glasses are fogging up. Those last two I held about that far off the right edge. So like I said, either my eyes are crooked or those that rear sight, we need to shift it off with a shade. Let me finish this mag off on that 50 yarder. Do that same hold off the right edge. Yep. Oh, see, I got cocky and missed. So, let me zoom in on this with my other camera here because 50 yards is pretty far from my eyeballs. So, we got three on the left edge, three on the right half, and then one up near towards the shoulder. I say 50 yards, not too shabby with a, a compact defensive pistola I never had my hands on before. I tell you what, uh, let's do some more, have some more fun. Let me load up some more blue lights. We'll be right back. All right, now for this one, we've got a lot smaller piece of steel. It's probably a third of the size of that last silhouette. At 55 yards, I think I put seven blue lights in here. Let's just see if I can get this one. Really focus on what I'm doing here. 55 yards, that plate is probably 10 or 12 inches across. Y'all didn't know a cross had a T in it at the end, did you? Here we go. Trying my best here. Still holding right off the right edge of it. Missed it. Didn't see where though. Got it that time. See, I saw one miss to the left. Let me slow down here. I'm trying to go too fast. There we go, what'd I get it? Two out of seven, let me look at this other camera, see where we got it. Well, we got one. Both of them pretty near the center line, just a shade left. Let me load up some more and we'll bring it back into 20 yards, do some stuff that's a little more realistic and I'll be right back. Got 12 in here, 20 yards. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can but still remain on target. Silhouette and the, the uh, circle gong here. There we go. Do my best here. Ah, missed that last one. I saw it when I squeezed it. Circle gong. Missed the last one on that too. So, eh, I can go kind of fast. That's just me with that one, uh, with the compact. I have not had much out practicing aside from the one that I carry a lot. Let's do a little bit more. This last one, 
we'll see how good I can do. Again, we'll do kind of the same thing right there. Same two targets, 20 yards. Let's alternate them this time. Try to go fast, but fast and not miss. And I missed the first one. And I missed two out of that string. I'm gonna blame it, blame it on my foggy glasses again. But there you have it guys, just a real quick range video testing out this FNS 9C. Again, I'm no, I don't claim to be a, a pistola expert, but me personally, things I like about it, that trigger, like we showed, I love that wall. It is obvious where that wall is and where it breaks. That's probably my favorite thing about this. What else do I like about it? The grip fits me good. It's not a, a single stack skinny thing that feels too small, but it's not huge. It might be huge to some. For a compact, it's fairly wide, but not to where I don't like it. To me, of course I got bigger hands than most people. To me, fits good. I can even get my pinky on there and it doesn't feel too wide or crazy for a double stack. But what do I not like about it? Hmm, I missed a couple. <laughs> that thing, that made me look bad, but we didn't miss a whole bunch. We missed a couple in there. Uh, but all in all, uh, I like it. Like I said, especially that trigger. Uh, it's an FN. Hmm. The, uh, the grip feels good to me. I'm not really a stickler for the grip and whatever. If I can hit targets, well, then it's good with me. It's got that rail on the bottom. Some people want to know about that. All these uh, people want to talk about slide serrations these days. Yeah, yeah that doesn't really get me excited, uh, but it has them. And what do the sights look? I'll give you an up-close look before we end the video. That's what the sights look like. Then, uh, yeah, all in all, we got hits out to 55 yards. At 50 yards on a big piece of steel, a uh, piece of steel the, the size of me, uh, hit it just about every time. 55 yards I was the piece of steel was about like that, and I missed it like mm, half the time, maybe a little bit more than half. But hey, I'm rambling now. FNS 9C, if you're looking for a, a compact that holds 12 plus one, you might love it. Pretty cool, I could see myself uh, carrying it. But hey, appreciate y'all. Real quick video on this FN. Appreciate Heavy Metal Paul letting me take it for a test drive. You guys let me know what you think about it. Appreciate y'all. Hoo-doo.